I'm going to talk about Battlefield. DICE and EA have announced the new Battlefield V. Oh, uh, I understand they're calling it 5, but the problem is, if you're going to call it 5, but you're going to use the Roman numeral 5, you need it to have been using Roman numerals from the start. If you go from normal numbers to Roman numerals, it's just weird, especially when you have it all up in your collection. Anyway, that's, that's just a minor gripe. I personally believe the battlefield has died. Uh, and, and you look at it from Hardline, which we don't even mention, and then you get to the Battlefront games, where pretty much the original Battlefronts, for those old enough to remember, were basically Star Wars Battlefield. And the new Battlefront games, EA and DICE did their absolute best to make the new Star Wars Battlefronts not Battlefield. And they tried so hard that they flopped them for a number of reasons, but to me that, that was one of the things that helped to kill it. So then you got Battlefield 1. And first off, you're, you're calling your umpteenth addition to the series 1, which you know, I, I get it's supposed to be World War 1, but no, that it doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit with the timeline of Battlefield. Anyway, the thing was with Battlefield 1 was that they completely changed the entire way that they've had Battlefield work since, like, Battlefield. So, all right. The problem with the way that they made the new Battlefield work was it, they, they tied so many attachments together that it got, the game got boring. You really had no reason to unlock anything because anything you would unlock for the game made the game worse than what you started off with in the very beginning. So because of that, at least me personally, I'm sure there's, there's lots of people who found the game fun. I found it boring. For me, after, I think it was 28 hours is what the game shows me I've played, I stopped playing went back to Battlefield 4. And pretty much I've been sitting there waiting for Battlefield 5 to come out, hoping that Battlefield 5 would pretty much, you know, go back to the way the Battlefield 3 and 4 were. And from what I can see, no, 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 they haven't. Um, they, they seem to be doing this combination of Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty and everything that was wrong in both of them. So let, let's talk on first off on the graphics. To me, the graphics of Battlefield 1, and at least from what the reveal trailer has been, Battlefield uh, 5 or V, whichever way you want to put it, they're not very good. Um, the, yes, the background is very pretty. Very detailed, very pretty. But when you look at the guns themselves, like the actual kit, to me, the actual kit in the game looks like cheap rubber stamping or like a cheap uh, vinyl wrap on, on everything. Yeah, there's lots of little details in them, but they don't feel real. Like the guns of Battlefield 4, and even going way back, the guns in Call of Duty 4, and the, even the older games but uh, before that, even though, yeah, they didn't have quite as much modeling detail to them, they felt real, they, uh, especially uh, like in Modern Warfare 2. Looking at the screen, you almost felt like you could reach into the screen and pull out an ACR or you know pull out a UMP-45. Like they, they felt real. They had an organic feel to them. The new, the, the, the new style of Battlefield, though, they don't have that whatsoever. Um, the, the next thing that they're going on in, in their trend, at least from what I can see from the, uh, the pre-release bonuses that they're giving out, is that they're sticking to their whole bunch of stuff that really has no bearing on the game whatsoever and in no way affects anything. It's literally just simply cosmetic changes that are dumb. At least to me, if I want to spend time unlocking something, I want it to do something different than what I already have does. I am not interested so much in making something look slightly differently than what it normally does, something that nobody other than me is ever going to see because nobody picks up your kit and no one's going to be paying attention to how cool your kit looks because they're too busy not trying to trying to not die from you shooting them and too busy trying to kill you, frankly. So, to me, it's a waste of time to unlock all this useless junk that they have for us. Now, I have heard, thank uh, you know, thank all you consider good and holy, that they are doing away with um, uh, 
I can't remember what those things. I, I never end, end up actually playing a game with them. Oh, loot box, loot crates. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. They're, so they're doing away with loot crates. That's a bonus. But you know, and uh, I'm sorry for that pause. You're just going to hear just back there a second. It started raining, and I realized I had to go out there and cover up my grill. So anyway, but you know it's going to be completely filled with microtransactions for every tiny little skin. I can live with that. Uh, as long as it's not going to be, you know, like endless, you know, loot crates and, and, and endless BS. I want to get in a Battlefield game. I want to get into the game and I want to start shooting stuff. And that's pretty much the extent of what I want my Battlefield experience to be. I don't want a whole lot of unnecessary complications. And I don't want a whole lot of the, uh, of the stupidity that they t seem to have been adding to the games as of late. And I'm not even sure... If I want to go into all the details of that, because I mean, uh, other people have already beat this to death, but I guess I'll mention a few of them. Um, first off, adding in token characters. Second off, having, you know, com claiming to be all about that realism while not having any of that realism. Uh, you know, if you're looking, at least at, uh, for the reveal trailer, you have... Tanks that are supposed to be, in reality, very slow, clunky, uh, British tanks. Uh, uh, I believe they were Churchills. So they're infantry tanks. They're not plowing on forward with all this huge and exciting. They're designed to go at a walking pace. Um, and then, of course, you have the elephant in the room. You have this, like, British one-armed disabled woman absolutely annihilating everybody in the early 40s. Think about that for a second. This is a time period when you know, your prosthetics was you had a hook, effectively. You're not going to be going with one arm, and, and no, no nation on earth is going to send you with one arm into combat in the 1940s. Even the Russians weren't sending one-armed women into combat. And, and, and that's, the, that's the thing there. You could have made this really interesting, right? And you wouldn't have had any backlash at all. If you had... A Russian woman as a sniper well, that would have made sense and not a single person would have made a peep out there and anyone that did make a peep out there would be you know really basically wrong but instead we have to have this idea that pretty much someone who is one step away from being wheelchair bound is just as good as anybody else and in the in, end at the same time, we're also going to call this as we're focused on you know realism. You know we're telling you know real World War II stories. No, no, you're not. You're just simply making a mockery of World War II, so you can push your SJW BS. And it's even even if you're not attempting to push the BS and you're doing it because you're being pressured, the people who are pressuring you to put this BS into the game are not the people who are ever going to buy and or play the game. And if they do play the game, they're going to run through, play the single player once, and, and that's it. They're not going to be the people who are going to spend a whole bunch of money on skins for their multiplayer experience and sit there and put 800 or 900 hours into the game. So why? Why pander to these people? There's no reason for you to pander to people who are not going to play the game. And, and that, that's really pretty much all I have have on this. I, I, I hope maybe they fix it. Um, and if they do, you know, if I see some gameplay footage of it and it turns out that I'm completely wrong with how they're going to have the game set up and like, having the woman in it is not really a deal breaker to me. I'll still play it. But if they, if they basically make this game as a reskin of Battlefield 1, I can assure you I will not be somebody who's going to play that game very long and I'm definitely not going to be pre-ordering it. And that's pretty much pretty much all of that. I'll see you next time.